Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing. As you can see by the title of this video, it is the JK Rowling's Wizardry World of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, the official box of Loot Crate. Now this box's theme for this particular one was the Dark Mark, hence the sticker here. Now this sucker actually ran across the bottom of the box. I didn't want to break it, so I cut it literally off the box to save the sticker. So, let's get into this box. So once you have cut the sticker, or as I did, and you open up the box, this is what it should look like. You like the, uh, little pattern they have here. Alright, so we're going to set this off to the side here so that we can look at all the items. So one right up on top is of course the shirt. It is a black shirt. It's a fantastic beast. <clears throat> We've lived in the shadows for too long. I'm glad they did this version of him versus the, um, the, the version after the, uh, Revelio spell. I have the shirt. I'll wear it. It's in my color scheme of things, so let's keep that there. Next item on top is a stationary wax stamp set. Six note cards in a velvet bag. Okay, let me pause you guys here while I open this so we don't waste too much time. Okay, so once you've opened that, it's kind of hard to see this actually is really good quality paper, it looks like. You guys can see that on there. She was... I'm not a person mouth, so I, I can't say exactly what it is to open that, but they are nice black cards with black envelopes, who wouldn't want that. And then in this little velvet bag that came with it is your little wax stick in red. I don't understand, but it has the same gimbal. It's actually really, really nice. Apologize for the crinkly noises. Yes, this is a nice wooden, very heavy, and a little metal stamp that goes right with it. Maybe. Stay there. No? Okay. <laughs> no, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next item in the box. Oh boy, Harry Potter um, collectible plate set of four. If you've seen that with uh, Dolores Umbridge, personal opinion, I think she was by far the most twisted of the individuals simply because she could conjure a Patronus by taking joys out of torturing people. And I think that was her happy place is why she could conjure a Patronus. Goodness. Good thing they're not animated because, you know, one might lose their mind. Alright, next item comes in this little plastic bag. So it's Harry Potter on it. A plastic bag within a plastic bag. Okay. Looks like a pin. Oh, nice! 
Yes, Tom Riddle's Diary enamel pin. Tom Riddle's Diary, yeah. I said that right. <laughs> That's actually really kind of nice. I like that. It's a little pin. Alright, and then it looks like the last item is Askman Prison. It's like a little bag here. Oh, it's a nice gray. A little zippy bag. I suppose this could be like travel bag for makeup, pencil bag for if you're still in school. Not sure exactly what I will use it for, but I will find a purpose. Alright, and then the end is the JK Rowling's G World. Looks like an envelope and it is dark arts. We're exploring the darker side of magic with collectibles, apparel, replicas, and more featuring the characters, places, creatures, and artifacts associated with the dark arts of the wizardry world. Oh, I like how they have little pictures of everything. And yep, we got everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's unboxing of the JK Rowling's official Wizardry World box by Loot Crate. It is a bi-monthly subscription, so the next box will not be until July, and the theme for that one is Defense Against the Dark Arts, appropriately named considering we just had the Dark Mark. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down below what your particular favorite item in the box is. Mine's actually between the shirt and the pin. Plates are hilarious. My only because I'm British like pink and I am not one who likes pink. So please take care of yourselves guys. Have a super duper good one and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.